Welcome to Taiwan Spirit Coffee Channel. For the past six years, we've been working in Taiwan coffee. A little bit about us. We got into coffee because, well, we love having coffee with people. Our passion for coffee, yes. There's so many different flavors, varieties, and other smell we can get out of complex beverages in the coffee industry. Sure. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Alishan coffee. Alishan is famous by its high mountain oolong tea, but as it turns out, the coffee is also a local specialty. As with Alishan tea, the coffee grown at higher altitude is lighter, more fragrant, and yet somehow more intense. But the intensity of the flavor from its amazing aroma. Which heightens your senses and allow you to appreciate the dynamic flavor profile at different points along your tongue. So, one of the biggest things you should consider when purchasing coffee is how it's been processed. Now, there are three major types that you should look for in your local coffee shop: natural, honey, and washed. Natural process is the uh, Farmers harvest the cherries, let them sit out in the sun and dehydrate to a desired moisture percentage. Then the skin, the palm, the mucilage are all removed, and then we finally left with the seed that gets shipped to roasters. You're left with some coffee with a little bit more of a muddy, fermented flavor, but through time and process, a lot of producers. Have created some delicious, fruity, elegant, natural processed coffees. Next is the honey process. Do you know why it's called honey? Are they adding honey in that process? Definitely not. This process got the name because of its honey-like look. In honey processing, beans are skinned and palmed, but some or all of the mucilage remains. Honey processing takes longer time, delicate work, and more manpower. So why farmers using this method? It's generally possess great sweetness and balanced acidity with fruity undertones. Over here, the wash process. It's a little bit different. The skin and the fruit are actually removed from the cherry, and we're left with mucilage and seed. Now that gets soaked in tanks of waters from anywhere between eight to fifty hours. During that fermentation process, the mucilage breaks down. The producers can then take that off the sea, which they get shipped over to roasters. What's different is how clean the coffee end up tasting. If you like bright floral and tea-like qualities coffee. This is what you should go for. During the past 10 years, coffee grown in Taiwan has won many international awards, and is well known for its fruity and sweet flavor. The coffee beans of Taiwan have tropical fruit aroma. The Alishan coffee has very, very rich tropical fruit aroma, which is super charming. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the Alishan coffee. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. See you next time.